Hi there. My name is Greg Sherman and I am the instructor for this course. Really happy to be your, your teacher. I can tell you right now this is definitely one of my favorite classes to teach at Radford University. And I think part of the reason why I like it so much is that I know that all of the things that you're going to be learning and applying are going to be useful to you as you advance your studies and your careers in education. So uh, I really, and I think that the things that you're going to be learning about are really, really important. Now, I, I do want to point out that this course is, um, is completely web-based. And this website that you're at right now is going to be the home page or the landing page for the entire course. And so I know that you'll be visiting this page every week, if not every day, as the course pro progresses. And I will be posting important information on this page, on the home page, almost every Monday of, uh, of the class. So I do want to point out a couple of things before you dive in and start reviewing some of the important course related information and and that is first of all there is a link underneath this video that will um, allow you to download a digital copy of the course syllabus now all the syllabus information is provided within this website as well so things like the the course calendar is included on the website and information about the grading and everything that you're going to have to accomplish and all of the learning outcomes um, are listed in the syllabus information but also all the projects that you're going to be involved in this semester are going to be communicated to you and delivered to you within this website as, as well. And I will tell you right now, let me just introduce you to the course big picture. This is a picture that you'll see regularly throughout the, the course and what it, it represents is how the, the, the skills that you're going to be learning in this class are sort of organized into four really important and distinct areas. These are ways in which I believe you can use technology to help you improve your practice as an educator. Whether you're a classroom teacher right now or whether you're still at, in the process of studying to be a classroom teacher, all of the skills for this course are very useful. And as I mentioned, they're, they're gonna be facilitated within four very distinct ways that I believe technology can help you as a teacher in, improve your job. The first area has to do with community building. And so the first projects that you're going to be involved with are ways in which you might use technology to help you build community among and between all of the important people that you are going to be working with in your job. Now, you might be a regular face-to-face -face classroom teacher now or in the near future. You might be somebody who teaches online, part part online in a hybrid environment, or who knows where we're headed with the pandemic and, and other things. And you may end up, you may find yourself in the kind of job that I have right now, which is to be teaching um, exclusively online. But regardless of what your station is re um, with respect to how you're going to be teaching, the way that you use technology that you're going to learn about in this class is very applicable to any of those situations. And using technology to help you build community is one of the most important ways that you can use um, technology, whether it's computers or, or mobile technologies like cell phones or other types of things. Using it to help build community is something that I already know you know is an important part of your life outside of school, and it could certainly be very, very valuable and helpful inside of, of school. Now, the second area of skills that you're going to be learning about have to do with how you might use technology to help support your instructional efforts. And honestly, most of the class focuses on, on those skills. So you're going to be, you're going to be developing a lot of really creative projects that focus on how you might use technology specifically to do things like help you define meaningful learning contexts or communicate really important information and examples to students in the most effective way possible or providing practice with feedback or allowing students to be able to review and reflect upon what they're learning about and why it's important and how they're personally learning it. So those are the kinds of things that you're going to be examining as you learn how to use technology to support your instructional efforts. 
The third category has to do with how you might use technology to help you manage the processes and resources for learning. And again, the skills that you might apply in this area are, are relevant whether you're teaching online or whether you're teaching face-to-face -face or, or some kind of um, combination of that. And finally, the fourth area of the class is going to focus on how you might use technology to help you continually improve your practice through experiencing effective professional development efforts. And so at the very end of the semester, you're going to be learning more about how you might personally benefit from certain aspects of technology and how you can use it to continually learn more about teaching, as all professionals must do um, constantly to, um, you know, to be professionals in, in, in their field. So that's how the course in a broad sense is structured. Everything you do for this class is going to involve creating something every single week. And when you create something, you're going to create it and make it accessible within a website that you're going to develop. And that website is the very first thing that you're going to begin to wrap your, wrap your hands around and your head around in this first week of class. And so everything that you do is going to be create a, a part of that website that you, you develop. And you're going to be using the tool that I used to develop this course website. You'll notice that I, I, I don't use D2L very much for this class. You'll really only use it to check your grades and to, you know, to keep up with your progress. Everything else that you are going to do for the class is going to be facilitated through this particular website within the same environment that I'm asking you to develop your own personal website f for the class. So um, without too much further ado, I just want to point out that underneath this video is a link to a digital copy of the course syllabus. You can download that and keep it in your, in your files or for your records. There's no text for the course. There are some readings that you're going to learn more about as the course progresses. I've got some really good, what I think are really good course notes, and those are things that you can access. There are no exams in the class. You're evaluated solely on everything that you develop every week and post every week for the class. And, and to this end, I, I will direct your attention then to a button at the very bottom of this home page. And that button will take you to a more comprehensive, more specific overview of the content for this course. And so I just wanted to say hello to you, introduce myself to you here on the homepage for the very first week of class, let you know that I am available as your teacher to um, help support your efforts, however that may be. You can email me, you can call me, we can set up Zoom meetings. I'll be working 100% online with you this semester, but I'm very accessible and I am, I am here to, to support your, your learning and, um, and everything that you do to successfully accomplish learning the skills in this class. So again, welcome to this semester. And, um, and when you're ready, uh, click on the button below.